Over the summer, I was kind of going through a stage in life where I had forgot what made me unique. And I really needed to strip down all the impurities that we sometimes place in our heads through negativity and strive for a better way of thinking. And within that, I created the I am. I mean, through this process, I really was able to rekindle the idea of just being perfectly imperfect and allow myself to be in a political, just bring all myself in this space and since I'm allowing myself to be natural versus this always on a held position of being in this space. So, overall, I feel like this process has truly been a wonderful experience, not only for myself, but for each individual artist in the process as we've shared so many laughs, spent so many times uplifting each other, supporting each other, and it's really as transposed in the space as I've formed so many new relationships with so many new people. People that we'll probably never get a chance to dance with within the conservatory, we're able to all dance in the space. We don't, it's every class. We have freshmen all the way to seniors in the project. We have Berkeley College of Music. We have spoken word poetry from the musical theater department at the conservatory. So it's really a big merging collaborative process that has truly created a harmonious evening with the work. What does it mean to be a woman. What does it mean to be defined as she? Like, who are we as individuals? How do we take this space? How does a woman dance differently than a man? How can a man influence a woman's movement? So, we also play with the idea of sensuality versus sexuality and the difference in the space between that. So, you'll see a play between a lot of different topics when it comes to women in the arts. Now you understand just why my head's not bowed. I don't shout or jump about or have to talk real loud. When you see me passing, it ought to make you proud. I say it's in the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palms of my hands, the need for my care, because I'm a woman, phenomenally. Overall, the IME section really showcases strength. It really showcases the power of being able to just continue to strive for excellence even when times are hard. Sometimes we always, sometimes it's just nice to have a support system, to have just that energy in the space to get you through rough times, and that's definitely something I use this process for. I work with a very unique way of collaboration in the sense of I give material and I set the choreography in a very structured way. I also open myself up in a sense of letting the artist know where I developed this idea from and what this piece means to me and how I got to the place that I am today and they kind of then transpose that information into their, their movement. But on top of this is they bring in what makes them unique and what this idea means to them what they've gone through in life and through dialogue sharing that together we create this beautiful work of art and that's how each piece is kind of created. I am someone, an individual, who's mostly confused and sometimes spiritual, looking to answer this question, praying the maker will respond, hoping society will quiet down so I can listen. So it's been an amazing experience to see my material recreated on a, another body, but feel that my spirit is connected to theirs, and they're able to really perform it. It's like we're doing a duet, but the, the only person is just one person in the space, or an ensemble in the space, and I'm not performing, but my spirit is resonating in the space. And for me, I feel like that's such a rewarding experience.